Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron with the Detail Coat. Do you have a dirty car? Well, reach out to us. We have a few mobile trucks where we can come to you, and we do have a shop as well. So book your appointment at thedetailco.com. Use the code DELOCICO23 and receive 10% off. See y'all later. Loading up a chopper with the Glock, fucking FM, my nigga got two twin line max, painty off the deep end, my nigga got a Draco with a 60, fuck your best friend, and if you think you fucking with us, we gon' hit your next man, catch me out in traffic, ready to crash out on the deep end, niggas try to take me out and they just lost their best man, and if them niggas double back, they gon' lose their next man, tell them pussy niggas I'm not the one to be fucked with, I'm coming through with the heaviest ammunition, bodies dropping like flies for thinking they was fucking with us, so pussy niggas need to stand on that motion, I take a sip off the potion, I get to cooking with motion, I get to clicking them triggers until your body is riddled. Then you niggas miss it for thinking you niggas sit us. Then you niggas sit up, you niggas scatter like bitches because you ain't fucking with us. No, you ain't fucking with us. I know some niggas is watching, trying to get the drop on a nigga. You niggas playing with fire, no, you ain't built for the mission. Yeah, I'm equipped for decision, that means I'm built for the mission. My mama loser, only son, I'm taking one of you bitches. Five, five, six in the chop, but I got a knot with a switch. The next nigga to cross me gonna end up just like that bitch. Fucking pussies. We loading up the chopper with a Glock. Fucking FEM, my nigga got the twin like Max Panty off the deep end. My nigga got a Draco with a 60. Fuck your best friend. And if you think you fucking with us, we gon' hit your next man. Hey, what's that? I don't hang with you, man. Big cat. I'm slow like quicksand. Eyes red like Ozzy. Double up that Glock with that sight me. And we was stuck in sirens. Well, let's get the fire in. You might want to hold Welcome in this bitch, man. Go all down the road. My hand up on this glee. Fucking cross. Everybody, it's your boy Loser Lou. It's June 20th, 2024. It's 10 30 p.m. Just another amazing day in the west side of San Antonio. <clears throat> so I got some homies on today. What's up, Case? Yo, what's good with you? Shit, just chilling, bro. Chilling. Nice to meet you, man. I know I met you. I know I met you at that session a few months ago, but it's nice to like be able to sit and chop it up with you. He actually, hear some music. Yeah, sure, it's good seeing you. Again. What's up with you, Ralph? Hey, Rack and checking in. You already know what it is. I'm here with Lou. I'm chilling. Let's go. Okay, so if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? You can find me on all platforms. That's K O L D X A S E. Ralph, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? You can find me everywhere at Just Reckon at J U S T W R E C K I N. Damn, that's what's up. I remember I remember seeing you back in the day, like 20, 2016, 2017, and I think probably like 2018 when I was doing the the label thing back in the day with Vane. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That shit I, was hard, bro, with Panic in there. Oh, dude, dude, I ran into him the other day. He works at um, the comedy club downtown. Yeah, I still want to work with Panic on some South Side shit. Yeah, Panic's, yeah, yeah. Panic he, he wants to work. He's ready to work. Like, yeah. he's... Yeah, he hit me up. He hit me up the other day. He was saying he's, he's going to come by pretty soon and do some shit. So, yeah, we might, we might have some Southside shit coming out soon, you know? Bro, he's one of my favorite writers, man. Like, uh, he's something else. Hell yeah. No, I, like, I like Panic a lot. Uh, Maddie and uh, Vane. Vane was cool, too. They were Dude, yeah, Vane always kills those beats. Hell yeah. Uh, they were doing, like, um, some shit over some 808 Mafia beats, if I'm not mistaken. Right oh, before. yeah, we had some beats from uh, Chris Fresh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, that was... Man, that seems like forever ago. I was looking at those music videos the other day, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I was showing a koala. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out, koala! <laughs> koala the goat. Hey, actually, do you have the track that you that he did with you? I do. It's on my phone. Hey, if you can, is there any way you can like send that to me? I want to play that before the night ends. Let me see if I can get it. All right, AKs. Yo. So how long you been doing music, bro? I've been doing music since like 2011. I want to say, but like seriously, probably for the last two years. Yeah. So what, you from San Antonio? Nah, I'm from Iowa, dude. A lot of people think that I'm from San Antonio, and I appreciate the people for loving me because they think that I'm from here, but nah, I'm from Iowa, dude. That's cool. That's different. Shout out the Midwest. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Midwest is wild. I was chilling in Kansas City uh, this past summer, and uh, it was fun. It was very different. <laughs> hey, they got good barbecue in Kansas City. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, they did, man. They did. Dude, I was tripping out, like, uh, just the legal scene out there. It was so much fun. I was sponsored by a by a, a cart company. Okay. 
and I went and I showed some pictures out there, and it was just, I, I, I was so fucking stoned, I passed out in the damn van. That's wild. <laughs> I didn't know they had a, a cannabis scene out there like that. Dude, yeah. Well, every, everything's legal, like, in the Missouri part. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I got a homie out there who DJs and does some things out there. That's dope. All right, so what was that song that we opened up with? Uh, so that's uh, Deep In with Southside Hoodlum. That's off my new tape. I just dropped June 1st. How old is that, bro? Oh, you said June 1st? Yeah. That's what's up. Uh... So is um is every everyone that's on the album, are they from San Antonio? Yeah, everybody on there is from San Antonio. Oh, so you worked with a lot of local people on this one. Yeah, for sure. That's what's up. Yeah, I wanted to play this one right here. Cause I, wanted to hear, I wanted to hear one. I haven't heard Wrecking in a long time. <laughs> This one's hottest. <clears throat> oh, move to the next one. Do the there we go. Yeah, yeah. Ain't standing on business. I love that acronym. I like how y'all made it your own. Yeah. <laughs> That's Case. Case came up, came up with the idea. We came together and did this one. Uh, we don't do a lot of like Pussy labels. Pussy standing on. This one was real fun. This bitch, yeah, we gotta go. Should we told them niggas ain't trying to go. Should we told we them niggas we can't be hoes. Pussy niggas. Business we standing on yeah. at the top of this bitch. Yeah, we got it up. Truth be told, them niggas ain't trying to go. Truth be told, them niggas we I'm can't be home. Neighbors, I stand on business. Red or green beans, you think it's Christmas? I've been pushing big weight like it's Planet Fitness. Pearly white teeth, like I hit the dentist. They say I'm a dog, I just hit his mistress. Speak on my name, we gon' leave him missing. I'm cool by myself, where they keep my distance. They say I'm the shit, and I'm barely pissing. Sick of these lames, all these niggas dissing. Hop on the beat, and I'm really different. They don't hear what I'm saying, cause they really ignorant. I be yelling their skin, different type of pigment. Seven six two, and I call for ligament. And I'm not with the jokes, this is not a gimmick. Know some niggas who spending a hundred civic. If you think they're not playing, bitch, I'm really serious. S double late to the V. Real gang bang name rang in the streets. Niggas be mad, they can hang with a G. My chain still hanging the same in the T. That's me, X stranger to me. Bread on his head, little wager to me. Standing all ten, gotta pay for the fee. Man, I'm too hard, I need a fan for the seat. Salvo. Pussy nigga, it's business we standing on. At the top of this bitch, yeah, we gotta go. Truth be told, them niggas ain't trying to go. Truth be told, we them niggas, we can't be whole. Pussy nigga, it's business we standing on. At the top of this bitch, yeah, we gotta go. Truth be told, them niggas ain't trying to go. Truth be told, we them niggas, we can't See be whole. You know the name, ain't gotta brag, you know the game. Ain't the same, you suckers lame. Chasing the bag, you chasing fame. See, y'all play by business, but I stand on mine from a king to a witness. What a sad decline. I'm taking out dubs, you watching me shine. We walk in the club, no, it's three Glock nines. I paid my dues, mad dad was clocking. Broke when deals, I do that often. Just make moves, ain't with the talking. Low wind, still been using caution. Came from the hood like a Texaco. Got a few guns and I let them blow. Remember finessing the rag and no. If you see them, just tell them I said hello. My name ring well like a Halle Bell. Get your ass banished to the shadow realm. They wish me bad, so I'm giving them hell. Where Still falling short like a shallow well. Living dreams today, cause it's all I know. Stacking green off plays and invested to grow. Aiming the beam when I'm blasting the hoe. My dogs even steam, I'm gas at the go. Pussy nigga, it's business we standing on. At the top of this bitch, yeah, we gotta go. Truth be told, them niggas ain't trying to go. Truth be told, we them niggas, we can't be whole. Pussy nigga, it's business we standing on. At the top of this bitch, yeah, we gotta go. Truth be told, them niggas ain't trying to go. Truth be told, we them niggas, we can't be whole. When it comes to this shit, I be standing on business. I'm throwing up gang till my fingers breaking. I'm crashing, I'm spazzing, I'm up in that thing. And it's off and against till I turn to max pain. Niggas are stumbling, fun with their words, but was it stumbling while this in the gang? Niggas are stumbling, fun with their words, but was it stumbling while this in the gang? I cook a nigga. Like Fred Fish in the hood, there ain't no Benny Hanna spin the block, nigga, and a black bitch. No chant, nigga, so get some these niggas and bitches with switches by Savory removing. I love that, bro. I love that, bro. I caught that, bro. You cooking. You cooking. Oh, man. That that made my night, bro. That made my night here. That that was funny as hell, bro. It is crazy how, how they're all, all in the hood. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you never see anybody there, but they always in business, dude. They doing something. It's a seasonal business, you know. They they cap they capitalize on Lent, you know. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so that's what's up. So you see how the city works, then? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, so what? What's that pin? That pin's rowdy, bro. This pin, if you need the plug, I plug you in. Uh, we might even have a little LDT one pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, there, it's a rosin pin. Yeah? Yeah. Can I hit that one more time? That thing is amazing, bro. I remember I had one of those a few weeks ago. I bought one. I, I liked it so much. I bought two from the from my homegirl. 
It's a little half grammar. They um they hit for fifty, so it's it's kind of steep for some people because they're used to getting like the grammars or the two grammars, the but taste, the smell, the, and like, the, the punches, quality, bro. It's like, like a mini dab, you know? Yeah, what I'm bro. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, the smell, bro. Like you you hit that in public, people are gonna stare at you. I brought you something else too. Man, what you got? You oh, I've been seeing you be making these, bro. A laid back lemonade. That's a raspberry laid back lemonade. I'm gonna give Case a laid back limeade. <laughs> so these are these are pretty rowdy. Oh, they're they're pretty good, bro. They're compliant with Texas, so uh, they're legal. It's 150 milligrams THC. You can find them in some smoke shops like Mary Jane's Smoke Shop off of um, Jackson Keller. Uh, but yeah, we keep them in stock. We got a good uh, amount of them in stock right now, and uh, we they've been flying, bro. We can't keep them in, we can't keep them on the shelves. <coughs> but yeah, it's 150 milligrams infused. We got the dosages on the back. We uh, it's it's intended to be about two servings. Oh, um, shit, okay. But, like, me personally, I drink a whole one, but some people, like, kind of start tripping off of it. So, like, <laughs> yeah. It's, drink responsibly, you know what I mean? <laughs> Have you ever had any rowdy, uh, uh, all right, the first time I went to Denver, I had to learn this the hard way. I was eating some gummies. Uh, I had to learn that, yo, if I start eating some gummies, like, medicated gummies, I need some, like, I need some regular gummy bears, too. Because I'm going to keep going once I start eating, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got a little high on the 420 <laughs> show, bro. Like, we, I, we've had these in, like, tasters, like, when we were, like, making them and figuring out, like, the flavors and stuff. So we were <laughs> trying them before, but I hadn't had a whole bottle before. So at the 420 show, I drank too much, and I got a little fucked up. But uh, the company that makes them, Auden Creations, they make something like what, you, what you're talking about. Um, they have they have uh, infused gummies already, so they're edible gummies, but then they have what, the, what you call the eat them all gummies. So in there, whoa, whoa, it's a, what it's do you a, mean eat them all? That's rowdy. It's a pack, and only one of them's infused. And you can check and see on the label to see which one's infused if you want to, or you can just sit there and eat them all, and then you know like only one of them's infused, so you won't overindulge. I fucking love that idea. Or you can that still, is fucking dope. You can get the whole pack if you want, and get the full infused pack if you want. But you might, if you know you're gonna overindulge, you might want the eat them all pack. It's like it's like a choose your own adventure book. <laughs> 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 I fuck with that because either you're gonna, either you're gonna get shit done, or you're gonna get fucked up on some side quests. Nah, fat. <laughs> <That's> fat. <laughs> so with the drink, whenever you crack it, you just make sure you crack that that seal. Uh, there's a tamper seal on it, and then just oh, give it I a, see. Yeah, uh, yeah, just yeah. a gentle shake. That's gonna get you going, and then you'll be good from there. I like your character on there. That's funny, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, I'm. Half that bottle will put me down. I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure, man. I always, um, I'm cautious with edibles because, man, you know how you'll fall asleep and you're high and you're like, oh, I'll be good. I'll wake up. I'll be all right. You wake up and you're still like, I'm still fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> eyes still sleepy and shit. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, yeah, that's the worst when your eyes hurt to like hold open. No, yeah, that shit's funny as fuck. I'm trying to find that song for you. If you see me on my phone when this comes to, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get that song to you. Hey, all I know is, like, straight up, is there, any, like, after this, can I shoot some pictures of you somewhere real quick? Yeah? It's, it's going to be a grimy spot. That's all right. Bam! That's, that's what's dope up. as fuck, bro. You know what's funny is, like, when you were over there, like, getting everything, like, a set up, I was like, hey, bro, we got to see if we can get you a session with Lou. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, pictures, bro. Like, Lou's crazy with pictures, <laughs> dog. Like, so that's cool as fuck that you even mentioned that, dog. We appreciate you so much. Oh man, well like uh I'm I have been uh capturing uh graffiti in this city for twenty years. Uh, I got a book out right now, American Way, that's like a way, American Way, you know. <laughs> but uh that's you know, your your funny. name, Case, I have a friend that just painted that like in the trenches and it's just you can't you can't pass that up. You know what I mean? That's that's what you go by. It's that's there in the streets. Sure. We gotta take advantage of that. <laughs> That's fire as sure. fuck. <laughs> yeah, man, I keep my eye like I I I don't know what it is, bro. I'll just be driving down the street and I'm just like trying to read some shit <laughs> while not like hitting anything, you know. You got a good eye though, bro. Like f- photography, cause I uh I was looking at your pictures here, but I've seen all your pictures on Instagram too, bro. You got like you got a scope. Right? Like, I see you like scoping shit out. I'm a, I'm a very good at being at the right place at the right time. Like, uh, that, and I just learned, like, always keep a fucking camera on me somehow. Like, I got the Ray-Ban glasses now. 
I, I love saw those, that. Bro. Well, I saw your Instagram post that said uh, shot with or posted with Ray Ban glasses or something like. Yeah, that. Yeah, 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 man. I love those things. They're That's fucking rad. fun, bro. Like uh, a lot of people don't expect it, but you'll see a little light on. But I just hate how they they connect to Bluetooth, right? Mm-hmm. So if I connect to anything else, like I'll be driving. And, like, I'm chilling. I want to record something. Next thing you know, I'm hearing everything, like, boom, blasting oh, through my shit. fucking... <laughs> okay. I didn't realize that. So they have speakers and shit, too? Dude, yeah. It's really, like, uh, they're super comfortable for just, like, sitting at, you know, Cavender, like, waiting for your car. Right, right. But they ha- you said they have a light, so it's, like, a little green light or something that tells you when it's they're a, recording? It's a little, light, white, a little white light that'll okay. either stay on when recording or, like, <coughs> flash. Man, True. This one looks sick. <laughs> I was going to try and hold out, but, man, I can't. Dose, cheers. Dose carefully. Yeah, hey, cheers, dog. I appreciate you having this for real, bro. Oh, man, this is a lot of fun. This is good bumping into you. It was refreshing bumping into you, man. <laughs> I hadn't seen you in a minute. And I was just taking pictures. All of a sudden, I just hear you say something. I was like, Ralph? That's so funny. <laughs> it's funny, you know, because I think if, if it wasn't the same session, it was the week prior. I had just bumped into um, Big Lou Tattoos. Hey, and I hadn't only. seen him in a long time, too, bro. So I was like, man, that's dope just running into people. This is fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, dog. I Careful. know, man. <laughs> Let me set that down. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. Like, I'm glad you fuck with it. Yeah, man. That shit's delicious. I saw you, like, killing them, like, making them online, too. I was just like, oh, shit. Yeah, we've been we've been uh, getting a little production line going between the three of us. It's uh, Adan Creations is uh, Morgan and Kush. They're a couple. They're married, and we uh, just I've been hopping in there helping them out because it was just them making the drinks at first. So, what, how many flavors do you have? Uh, we have three, but we just phased out uh, blueberry lemonade as well because that one's going to be seasonal, so it'll probably end up coming back. Oh, okay. So it was uh what the we got laid raspberry back. yeah laid back lemonade we got raspberry lemonade. Uh, laid back limeade and then the regular lemonade, which we had this one from the jump, and this one was accompanied with the blueberry lemonade. But the blueberry lemonade got replaced with these two guys because I think the blueberry is gonna end up being seasonal. Yeah, so it'll end up coming back like McRib. That's what uh, X was saying. <laughs> 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 the McRib, right? You're a fool for that. <laughs> well, shit, let's get back into this this project that you had dropped. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's a. Uh, Case you got a good project right now. I'll I'll make some master the LDT studio. This is the second song off the album, Undefeated. Oh no, this is the one we open with, isn't it? Yeah. I want to hear Sav. This is going to be top. This is going to be the fourth one on the album. Hey, shout out Sav. He couldn't be here tonight, but he's he been rocking out with us forever. I ain't going to lie. This thing already got me a little head high. <laughs> Activation time is about 5 to 30, uh, five to, uh, 30 minutes. I 
just might shake the room. Uh, black go, boom, Rari, broom. I do my pop, I pop his top. I'm quick to change the mood. She don't pop bars, but she pop shrooms. I'm all with the English juice. I do my little dance when I'm loose. No need for the cap on the proof. You better get watch what you do. Cause I'm no love to let off the shoe. In love with them 762s. Need to chill, cause I'm too hot now. Not from New York, but keep it sturdy. Can that be my wife? Cause you not worthy. I'm too clean, you bitches. Dirty. I got white like Mr. Flurry. I can't yeah. be stopped now. Yeah. I'm so hot now. Yeah, you know they've been waiting for this one. Watch my car. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, okay. After the case and sap did this one, I was like, hey, we need a. I was like, I know y'all don't do a lot of music together. I was like, but we need a, a case and sap like EP. Because this is kind of dope. Y'all are kind of. They match each other like well. <laughs> like contrast. Yeah. Like, right? like, that's why we're best friends. <laughs> so what's LDT mean? Living dreams today. Let's go. Living dreams today entertainment. Um, Sav and the guys that didn't know, I had told them when I first started it, like 2013, before I even like started rapping, before people like had seen me. It was uh, me and a bunch of other guys, and I just had it. I had it LDT. I already knew I wanted it LDT. I don't know why, but it was like lyrical dream team, and then it's just kind of changed over the over the years. It's uh, living dreams today, and it's uh, kind of means a few things. It's like learning, doing, teaching, living, hey man, dream, the, thinking, living dreams today. That's what it is, though. Like, you know, that's what that's that's how graffiti writers do with their crews. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, I always loved that, bro. Like uh, KOS was like capping over suckers or like just a whole bunch of like oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like the, a whole bunch of like acronyms up there yeah a whole bunch of acronyms and then um who was the other ones rns was like i don't it was it was always a bunch of like they just had a bunch of like names it was like, i always, I always like the rtds names. how they had like ready to die true you know okay I mean? respect yeah, yeah. the dream yeah hell yeah yeah man that shit's rowdy yeah i love that shit the old party crews were kind of like that too yeah right? man yeah 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 Man, that's wild. Abe, so back to a... Have you ever taken too much weed that you regretted? 420 show. Yeah, we, we we heard you, but we didn't hear Case. Oh, no, it, it was the <laughs> same <laughs> fucking joke, dude. Oh, shit. Um, that, <laughs> that THC <laughs> lean? Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to how much I poured in the cup, so, like, I was gone. I came to him, and I was like, bro, I don't even remember the first three words of the song, so when my set started, I don't remember it. I was like, I'm going to walk right off and go give me a CBD gummy or something, a shot, and then I'll come back and turn up, but, you know, instinct kicks in, and everything else just runs off. Oh, so he kicked in? Yeah. Oh, shit, hell yeah. Well, I'm glad he kicked in. That's wild right there. Fuck yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's lucky because he was like, I'm going to have to go get a CBD shot or something like that, but I had just told him, and lucky he knew, Cause like I had got too high off the drink and we were smoking hash holes all fucking night and shit. So um, and I'm not used to burning like that, bro. Like I'm just used to burning like flour, you know, uh-huh. and the bong, just cool, you know. Yeah, um, same, same, bro. Like all this is like, bro. It's not new to me. It's just not like it's a bit indulgent. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like yeah, exa- exactly. The perfect word. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, shit. I think I indulged a little too much. <laughs> so I walk over to Chef Kush. Uh, shout out Chef. For, he's, the, he's, the, he's the guy. You know what I'm saying. So uh, I walk up to Morgan first, his wife, and I go, hey, I was like, I think I drank too much of this fucking drink. And she's, she laughs, and she goes, go talk to Kush. So I go talk to Kush, and out of his little inside pocket, he pulls out a CBD uh, oil. And I just take some CBD straight, and he's like, just leave it under your tongue. Let it sit for a little while. He goes, you're going to be all right in, like, five, ten minutes. And sure enough, bro, the five, ten minutes, the CBD hits, and I start feeling myself kind of level out. And I'm like, all right, we're going to be all right. Oh, now. crazy. I didn't know it would work like that. That's why, bro, I'm telling you, because like Chef Kush, he's a chef, right? And he makes edibles, and he makes the cereal bars, and the gummies, and the drink, obviously. But he's also a fucking scientist, bro. You know what I mean? Because he's got to get these fucking dosages right, and he's got to do formulas to make sure the dosages are according. And then he sends out to labs to get lab tested, and they're on point with what he thought they were going to be. So I was like, bro, you're a fucking scientist, dog. Like, yeah. like especially because, like, you know, like, whenever, uh, if, if I'm too high, like, you could bring me back down. Um, infused dinner is coming soon. I'll tap you in on that too. Hell yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I still can't get over all this infused everything. Hey, what's <laughs> your email real quick? I, I, I don't have the song, but I have the set, and I think it's on there. From the, uh, it's going to be uh, uh, L-E-W-S R-O-D R-O-D at gmail.com. Perfect. 
Thank you, bro. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. So what what else do you do besides music? I got a, a, I got a regular job. I work at a bank, dude. Oh yeah. Bank, so you know, just counting money, doing people's bullshit. <laughs> and after work, I'm a superhero and turn into cold case. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Make sure you bring two forms of uh, identification though. If you show up at the bank, <laughs> nah, shit. and no a social security card will not work. It does not have <laughs> your picture on it. <laughs> I heard someone argue with the teller at the bank the other day, like, just because of that. And, like, I'm just sitting there, like, damn fool. Like, the they can't do shit. it. The teller looking at you like, you shit. shouldn't be keeping that social security card in your wallet anyway. <laughs> 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 nah, <for laughs> That's funny. Not very secure, sir. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, dude. Other than that, just chilling. He gets down to some Madden. Him yeah. Him and Sab were talking shit the other day, and they went live on Twitch. And Case was like, Case plays Madden. <laughs> like, <laughs> he plays Madden. <laughs> yeah, dude. Had to shut it down. Teach, and then Sab, the Sab was like, fuck that. Let's run it back on some 2K. So they ended up running some NBA 2K, and Sab plays 2K. So they both do, but like that's Sab's game. You know what I mean? So uh-huh. yeah, they, they just, yeah. That's yeah, cool. we go back and forth. They're funny. Trying to line this up real, real quick. <coughs> we good. Yeah. Well, like, while I line this up, let me get this right real quick. So June 26th, Cold Strike Dab Company. I will be hosting a comedy show with mm. my boy Aldo Caldo, my heterosexual life mate, De La Stoner. <laughs> Hank Garza is going to be out. What's up, Nick Rosales? He's going to be out there, the sh- sh- shortest dude in the world. And, of course, heavyweight champion of the world. He's actually in Tampa right now, killing it. Uh, that's going to be June 26th at Cold Star Dab Company. It should be an interesting evening. You guys are already sharing the flyer for that, too, right? I think yeah. I think we've sold, like, maybe 35, there's 35 tickets. I think we've sold, like, maybe 17 already. And you're just hosting? Do you do stand-up, too? I told myself by September I was going to. You're working, on get some, on it. you're working on some material? Kind of. Hey, if you need anybody to run it by or test it on, let me know, bro. Oh, yeah? All right. I think I might take you up on that because, yes. Get a little little room together. You know, try out some material. Oh, shit. This is, this is the track with Carlos, right? With Koala? This one is with Los. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah this one's with Los. I think it's the whole track, too. I sent you my set, so I hope it's not a performance version, but it should be the song. <laughs> His vocals are a little bit low because it's a performance version. Is that what this is? You gotta put the slow and you gotta let the ash burn. Played, he played this for me the other day. I should have asked him to email it to you because he's probably at the shop right now. Bong rips, looking like King Kong hits. Back since I ding dong ditch. Damn, really don't seem long since started getting high. I've been getting by. It ain't hard to tell, you can see my eyes. Viva la mota, pouring flavors like big record soda. Hot box Toyotas, I'm loving the odor. Record checking in from Arizona and the Pensacola. Smoking bomb bush incredible. Smoking them cut fish edibles. Even dog past we forgettable. It ain't cause I'm high, it's cause y'all terrible. Still going on, still burning strong. Got a few plugs, so I'm still holding on. Got a few zones, so I'm still rolling strong. Got a few plugs. So I'm still going on. I hand taste what I've been voting on. It's bills that we've been voting on. I hand taste what I've been smoking on. If I pass that, so it's your B choking on. Something like that. Have another time. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> nah, that was fire, bro. I appreciate that. Dog. That one was fun. I haven't done no smoking songs in a while. And Los was talking about he wanted to rap. And I was like, dog, let's do something. So yeah, it was cool. It was real cool to rap. It, it, was, it came out of nowhere. Like, I knew he had done music. He had talked to me about it 
you know, a while back, and then out of nowhere, like, uh, I went over there just to kick it the other day, like, just to catch up, and uh, he played that, and I was like, what? I'd never heard him rap, so I was just like, hell yeah. So we're trying to plan out a video. Really? Yeah, we want to do a video for, like, Puro Humo, you know? Smoking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smoking some Fumando. Yeah, man. Uh, that's fucking cool. Appreciate that, dog. Yeah, I wish I could find the actual song. I kept looking for it to find it for you, but that's the closest I could get. If we can get Lowe's to email it. You know, I'm sure he has it. I'm sure he has it somewhere. He's probably busy, though. He's always busy, bro. He's got mad orders. He's yeah, dude. He's come up, so that's what's up. Shout out Lowe's. Yeah, a while of the goat. So you got a lot of EPs out. Uh, I got one out. I see, oh, my bad. Oh, I see all the singles. I dropped the uh, the relapse EP because that was all my stuff that I only had put videos out for my first year. Uh huh. So I had to get that out on distribution. But yeah, this is like the first real tape that I put out. So when did y'all connect? Really? What like four, three or four years ago? Yeah, three or four years ago. Something like that. Yeah, it's like three or four years ago. Man, he's he's. I'm telling you, uh, uh, ever since uh, him and Sav were tapped in through the video games. And then he came through, and he found out about the studio, and, the, and I, I shoot a little bit of videos here and there. I did his hottest video. I do all his videos. Um, he's been tapped in for a while. He's a like super fucking dope client, um, even better label mate. I was telling him, like, hey, like, just come make bread together. Like, you know, you, you already spent a lot of money on studio and videos and shit. Yeah. Like, like we, can, we can do this together. Um, yeah, we've just been rocking out ever since. It's just me and him and Sav, and we just run it up together, hanging out. So what, what was a uh, was Man Down the first <laughs> first track y'all did together? Um, yeah. the first one that you recorded with, with me. Oh, I know that's the oh, that's no, the first no. one that we did together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that we actually did together. We did yeah. yeah. Um, I don't, I can't remember the first song you recorded with me though. I think it was Chestnut Checkers. That sounds right because we did that video first too. Yeah. One of the first videos. Yeah, Case came to me with this one. This one was fire. I like this a lot. We need a new joint. Whose beat is this? That's uh, one of your boys. Yeah, so that's my homeboy that I went to high school with. Man, it's out in Arizona. Um, he goes by I Told Y'all. I Told Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good tag. It's I told Don't make me spin the block, nigga. We some backyard against ever since I lived with wreck and border. Ain't no stopping this. What up, Pablo? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy. Call me Mr. Hit a stank. If my nigga hit me up, pull it. I wet him up. Hoes down, G's up. Throw your motherfucker set up. Ay, ay. And you watch I move and mistake me for a player pimp. They say I got shot in the hood. That's why I walk with a limp. Really, it's the Moss Bergen. I can't wait till I spray it. I'm shooting shit like Maddie X when shit gets scary. And if Wreck can call me up, I'm digging graves all summer. It's a takeover. Fuck a hot boy, real summer, huh? It's a real nigga summer, huh? Man, it's fuck these other niggas. Yeah, nigga, we play for keys with the 16 that we all in. Knocking niggas straight off his feet. It's man down, man down, uh. Niggas, man down, man down, man down, uh. Man down, kill him with the cocaine, and spray him down. Spin it around the block, knock him down. Case I need to burn, brother. I've been on one. Dude talking crazy, I'ma pull up on him. Bro, would you go into bro? Because I'm spinning. See the red dot like a mo. Can you pass me that real quick? Yeah. yeah. Rosin He's got another one too. Or I think um, the resin. They're a little bit cheaper, but the rosin. Man down, man down, uh. Man, it's fuck these other niggas. 
Bush, that nigga, we play for keys with this extended, we all in, knocking niggas straight off his feet, it's man down, man down, uh, niggas man down, man down, man down, uh. I really like Case's style. Like, everybody always says he raps different. I'm like, like, it took me a while. I was like, what's well, he's from fucking Iowa? Yeah. Like, he, so he raps different from yeah. what we're used to. And it, it uh. Because cause I assume you were rapping before you came out here. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't have this style, bro. Yeah. So. It struck my ear really good, really good, man. It's like he's like kind of built like off of what he likes. He made his own little gumbo or something, you know? And yeah, it's cool. I, I fuck with it. What what do you jam? Yeah. Shit, really everything. Like you, you like like a lot of West Coast though, right? Oh yeah, so like West Coast like Tupac, Exhibit, Ice Cube, Spice One, stuff like that. But like honestly, I listen to a lot of shit. Like I listen to Ed Sheeran, so I listen <laughs> to him. <Fuck yeah. laughs> um, like in middle school, like in sync, like. Literally every genre <laughs> that you can think of, I listen to. Um, shit, even Mike Morgan, Wallen, that Anthony Oliver dude that just dropped his song. Um, <coughs> dude, there's a lot of people that I listen to. It doesn't matter the genre. Dude, I'm the same way. Like I'm like, if you look at my you, you look at my uh, iTunes list, it's crazy. My search history is nuts, bro. <laughs> yeah, for, look, at, like right before I came here, I was listening to uh, was it Three Doors Down, Kryptonite. <laughs> Yeah, like, it just hit me, and I was like, man, I haven't heard that song in a while. I feel that, bro. I feel that. Yeah, it's heat. Or it's funny, like, uh, you know, I'll be scrolling on IG, you know, scrolling through the stories, and I hear a song, and I'm just like, I don't even hear it now. (laughs) And it's like the most randomest song. Yeah. One of those gems that you haven't heard in a while. (laughs) I don't know, lately I've been going down a classic rock rabbit hole. Mm. Like, I've just been listening to a bunch of classic rock, because I'm like... You know, I'm stuck at work. There's no radio there, but I can play, like, my, over my phone or whatever. But I always got to pick stuff that, that's kind of clean, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, you know. You throw on some, like, Blue Oyster Cult or something. Dude, <laughs> yes. I fucking love Blue Oyster Cult, bro. That's fucking funny. I like your Nine Inch Nails tattoo. I keep seeing your Nine Inch Nails Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a <laughs> tribute to my brother, man. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. My, that's my cousin's favorite band. Yeah? My, my cousin that rents us our crib. It's his favorite fucking band. Yeah, man, dude, Trent Reznor is crazy with it. I remember uh, I got in trouble in fifth grade for wearing a Nine Inch Nails <laughs> shirt. Oh, that's funny. So my cousin Mondo always wants to show me Trent Reznor videos, bro. He's, like, showing me, like, how Trent Reznor has, like, this wall of, like, synthesizers, I guess, and shit. And he was just, like, showing me, like, the whole shit. Cause I started getting into analog gear. Uh-huh. So the analog gear has, like, a bunch of patches and shit. So he's like, man, you ever seen Trent Reznor? Because every, everything he always relates to Trent Reznor. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, you seen Trent Reznor? How he has a big old wall and this, this, and that. I was like... I haven't, bro, so he shows me. <laughs> he said I have it. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, man, he's a crazy musician. Super talented, bro. Like, that's a genius mind, for real. It's rowdy because you hear, like, the group he did before Nine Inch Nails and it was just totally different. It was, like, some Duran Duran type music. That's crazy, for real? Yeah. I didn't know that. But he was the only one that was different out of that group. But, uh, uh,. I mean, it threw me off. Started thinking about something else. No, <laughs> um, oh, it's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I like how he does video game music too, like scores for video games and shit like that. That's like that money, shit's bro. cool. Yeah. A lot of people don't know like any type of scores, video game scores, movie scores. Shit, if you can get any type of like placement, like sync placement, that's good money, bro. Dude, do you listen to any movie scores? Is there anything that like ever sticks out to you? Dude, you always talk about fucking Django. And I know it's not, like, probably as musical as it should be, but I love the scores on Django, bro, because they're just so, like, perfect. Like, it'll be like, whoosh, and then it's like, zoom in. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's so perfect. The scores are so great. Bro. And the one, that, the one that sticks out to me is, uh, uh, you ever seen Requiem for a Dream? Oh, shit. Have you ever like, seen that, the bridge is fucking, like, yeah, dog, yeah. They That's cut, true. They yeah. cut his arm off at the end? Mm-hmm. That's a crazy That's one. A crazy movie. <laughs> I saw that movie when I was way too young, dog. <laughs> but, bro, yeah, that shit was a trip. Hey, but it kind of scares you into, like, not doing certain fuck shit, yeah. you know? Bro, <laughs> fuck yeah. That's weed. <laughs> weed is very good. <laughs> yeah, drugs are wild, man. Dog. <laughs> so back when I used to party a lot, so we were at Bottom Bracket, uh... <laughs> 
Maddie won't get too mad if I tell this story. So I'm gonna tell it. <laughs> like me and Maddie would party, and every time we would party, I'd be like, Maddie, let her pee. If we're gonna do this, just know if I end up under the highway holding a sign, I'm gonna be pissed at you. <laughs> <laughs> and we would just start partying. That's rowdy. He's doing well, man. I'm, I'm glad to see him doing well. Dude, I love bumping into him at the comedy club. Like, that's my favorite, bro. Like, oh, yeah. like I go down there and it's just like me and him will just start chopping it up. And like, they kept telling, they kept coming back last time and being like, "Hey, can y'all be quiet?" <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, I get pretty loud. Thinking you're a heckler and shit. Yeah, I just get loud. <laughs> like if I, I get I get high, I get loud. I'm I I need a I need to calm down. That shit's funny. You got any shows coming up? We got a couple of shows. We got a show next week, uh, next Friday the twenty eighth, uh, with Prescription Prescription from Waco. Uh, he's coming down. Private hip hop podcast. Uh, they're doing a Texas tour. Uh, he's actually out in Houston right now. You know the other shows. You said it's going to be here in town? Yeah, so they're in Houston right now, and then they'll be sliding here uh, to San Antonio <coughs> next week on the 28th. Do you know where? Um, yeah. Cold Start Dabco. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, we'll be over there with your homie. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm pulling up the dates right now. So uh, Houston this week on the 21st, San Antonio next week on the 28th. And uh, so the the day of the show is is the days that I'm saying, and the day prior to that they do meet and greets too. So um, are they do are they doing it there at Cold Start? Yeah, yeah they're actually doing the meet and greet at Cold Start too. So we'll, they'll be there on the 27th. So I'll probably pop in there as well. And then uh, on the 28th they'll be at the same spot. Um, then they're gonna hit Austin, Temple, Colleen, Waco, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Corpus Christi. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna they they hit us up and they wanted us on the San Antonio spot because they. They figured, you know, if they're hitting San Antonio, they got to have LDT on it. That's because they know who's name ring bells out here. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. You need LDT. <coughs> That's yeah, what's we, up. We're about to make ourselves look good and make uh, make San Antonio look good. Man, it's fucking dope. It's a cold start. I like that spot. I, I went there for the first time um, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. To I've check never been the there, account. so it'll be my first time. It's a, it, Yeah, it's cool. It's in a great location. Bet. It's right by, like, San Pedro Park. Okay, I bet. Like right by Sac, yeah, 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 North Central. I think I met the owner. Was it uh, Dan? Yeah, Daniel. Dan? Daniel, super cool guy. Yeah. They were on the podcast last last Thursday. Okay, but, but yeah, I think I met him at a a Loud City show or something like that. Something like that. one of the shows. I think I met him at some somewhere. One of the events. I met Did y'all go to the Waco Tron show? We didn't go to that one. We that was a lot of fun, one. man. Yeah. That's that venue. Packed. That venue was cool. Like, that venue tripped me out because it used to be CD Exchange. Oh, shit. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't, like, walking in there, I was like, fuck. I spent, like, fucking, you know, yeah. all my high school years, like, like chilling where here. The shelves were and like, all the CDs and shit. That's so funny, dude. Well, back then, uh, uh, I was working for uh, the street team, Roadrunner Records. <laughs> and, oh, like, yeah. uh, uh, you know, there are a bunch of metal bands on there. Yeah. So, like, they wouldn't pay me, but they would give me, like, access backstage and shit and uh yeah i remember going there and like setting up cardboard sh- things you know what i mean to like advertise like slipknot's new album stuff like that roadrunner had slipknot right? dude yeah man they had slipknot well i was assigned to i was signed to a bunch of them like all these i remember i had a bunch of system of a down tapes uh stone temple pilot stuff they used to send me all kinds of stuff bro it was cool um i was selling a uh, reckon in elementary school, I went to school with the drummer's son of Slipknot. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you said you're from Iowa. Yeah, I always, that's right. That's how I remember that's where he was from. That's fucking funny, man. That's rowdy. Yeah, yeah. I would always want to say, like, ain't you from, like, Idaho or something like that? But then I always remembered, I was like, no, Iowa, Slipknot, yeah. first album, Iowa. I, Idaho is scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like Shit. Alabama. Shit, right? They told me I spoke English really well. I didn't know it. I didn't know how to like. That's like fr- Alabama. And shit. Yeah, like I got mad at first, but then it was just like you know what? They just don't get it. Like, <laughs> yeah. but not like uh, my family's from up there. True. From like a uh, Oregon Idaho border. Oh shit. Okay. okay. Like you know you know the French fries Orida. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the city like Ontario Oregon. That's the city I'm from. Oregon. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Holy shit. That was the big thing in the fucking. 
That's so fucking funny. I do know those things. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fucking cool. Yeah, Iowa, Slipknot, yeah. first album. That's how I remember where Case is from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever jam them? From time to time. Oh, yeah. The yeah. older stuff. Yeah. The newer stuff, I, I haven't really gotten into the It's It's stuff. different. But I mean, like, all bands ho- hopefully should progress. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. You shouldn't have the exactly. same sound for, like, 20 years. And new fans. You know what I mean? Because yeah, obviously, exactly. like, a lot of the older fans probably aren't still listening. So how do they, you know what I mean? You got to stay relevant. New fans, new money, you know. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I used to listen to a lot of Cradle, though. So. Really? Yeah. I don't know if you know who that is. Black no, I know who it is. I've never really, like, jammed them, though. Yeah. When it comes to death metal, death metal like, the only, like... I like older Sepultura. Okay. I know Soulfly is coming in November. Okay. That's dope. Yes, um, I think they're going to be at the Rockbox. I'm trying to get my homies from With All Sincerity to open up. I'm trying to line that up for them. That's dope as fuck. One of my buddies is with a tragic setback. I don't know if you've heard of that one. Are they they local? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're pretty dope. Hey, have you ever heard of that Chunkla Fest? No. I'm going to take pictures of that this year. I'm kind of stoked about that. That sounds cool as fuck. Yeah, one of my homies puts together, a, like, a, an event. It's going to be in Poteet. It's going to be, like, a free music event. It's a bunch of, like, uh, rock bands. Oh, one of my other buddies is with Voracious. I don't know if you heard of Voracious. They used to have, like, a saxophone player and shit. Damn, that's they fucking cool. They called themselves cool. a rock, like a rock and soul type band. That's they, fucking they cool. Inspired. Yeah, they mix saxophone with, like, and it was all original music. It was super fire. Super fire. That's crazy. Like, I love how, like, San Antonio got huge and, like, it, it's cool seeing all this art come out of the damn city. Yeah, that's cool shit. Because I felt like, you know, I, I, I grew up in the suburbs. I went to Taft. You know what I mean? Lived li- lived out there when 1604 was one lane coming and going, so it was a long time ago. But uh, <laughs> it's good to see the city progress. It's only two lanes now. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man that used to be one lane coming one lane going now that shit's what like fucking Four, eight nine yeah, way yeah. lanes lot of like wide parts, like yeah. both There's sides some parts of 1604 where is like two lanes on each side so like four total and i'm like we need a little bit more we need a little bit more, <laughs> <laughs> little bit more hey they're working on it though man they're working on it 1604 is a very big loop it is a pretty big loop i mean shit they're still working on fucking 410 35. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's right. I haven't been able to, like, get off on Culebra all, like, week. Like, <laughs> I got to get off, like, because I, I work downtown. And I come, you know, to the west. Oh, so I have shit. to, like, come around and yeah. figure it out. But I don't mind. I like driving around a lot. They need to wrap that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> driving around like that is where your eye comes in. Too, probably right. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, like I got, I got spots. Like, speaking of spots, let's run around. Let's go get some flicks taken. Yeah, let's go it. do some shit. Um, case if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? That's K O L D X A S C. That's on everything. Yo, Ralph, they want to get a hold of you. I'm at Just Reckon at J U S T W R E C K I N. Loser dot com. Loser dot com. Loser dot com. Stay out of trouble.